Welcome to Same Spit, Different Face TV, where my opinions is facts, and if you don't like my opinions, you can start your own podcast, and it's free, so don't forget to spit on the like button, the subscribe button, and the notification. Let's go! Now, Spit Squad, Young Thug will be coming home with 15 years served. The judge basically gave him like 40 years, but she basically did something that's called backloaded. Well, Young Thug will basically be able to serve all his time on the back end. Now, that doesn't mean that he's going to jail. The judge has suspended his sentence and gave him time served. She said five years of time served. And so backloaded, if he f- finishes his 15 years of probation without any trouble, um, he'll be good and she'll commute all his sentences and he won't have to do any time. But if he ends up getting in trouble later, then he'll have to serve the time on the back end, but the time will end up being consecutive. So it, I don't, I can't even remember how much it is, but at this point, the young thug is just going to have to have handlers around him. The one thing I really don't like is that YFE and Lucci got a really sweet plea deal. Um, and he was committed of the same type of charges, but Fonnie Willis was willing to work with him. Fonnie Willis also said, yo, he can get out of jail uh, as soon as he's up for probation and all of that. I mean, so to me, that's just crazy. I'm not going to lie. But anyway, all's well that ends well. I think YFN and Lucci got 10 years of probation. But the greatest thing out of this is that hopefully uh, YFN and Lucci and Young Thug can push peace together now. And Young Thug can come home. He can get back to his music. He can get back to his kids. He stayed solid. So hopefully all of these people who've been yelling free him, all of these people who've been saying they've been holding him down, hopefully they get him some features. Hopefully he can move around. Um, We have to see what's going to happen between him and Gunna. Uh, Young Thug is not supposed to be around people who on pro, uh, not probation, but who uh, are convicted felons or who have gang stuff like that. So when you look at the situation, um, who is it? When you look at the situation, he may not even be able to be around Gunner even if he wanted to. So um, I think this does two things, man. It shows us how corrupt the system is, but it also shows us um, that, you know, when when them people start getting, when them people start getting, um, what do you call it? When them people start getting um, antsy, you know what I'm saying? They're getting desperate. That's what they got. When them people start getting desperate, they'll let you on up out of there because, um, ain't like, uh, just as the judge said, the reason the judge let him out, she said, I'm going to take into consideration that they were willing to let him out right then, but it was some stipulations on his probation stuff. So, like, if y'all are willing to let him out right now, he can't be as big a danger as you want him to. I definitely think Young Thug got railroaded. Um, the judge definitely saved the prosecutor. Um... The, the young thug should have never been convicted for this. Let's just be honest, man. And I'm not, I'm not one of them people who just uh trying to say, oh, he a rapper, he can do no harm. When you, if you sit, if you sat here and looked at this case, and you thought that what they were doing was right, or you thought what was happening was okay, then you just in denial to everything that was going on, man. Everything was like they didn't have anything concrete on Young Thug. Um, people were coming on the stands and lying. The judge should have called a mistrial with prejudice when the police officer came up there and said somebody was in jail. It was a lot of different stuff, but. I mean, at the end of the day, you got to just take what you can take so you can get on with your life, man. Sometimes you got to take losses in order to take wins. But salute to Young Thug. He coming home. Check out my original Chicago hood movie in the end screen. No time to play fair.